that's happiness right there. That is that is fields of happiness. What's up? What's up, everybody? Monty here, playing some more Ostrov. It is year two, so episode two. Thanks so much, everybody, for uh, showing the love and uh, commenting on the first video. Uh, really let me know that you guys are uh, excited to be seeing more. Uh, one of the most uh, more popular videos on the channel lately, so really uh, do appreciate that. Uh, don't, don't bring that up enough. Uh, but yeah, right to it. Last episode recap, just for those who uh, maybe didn't watch it or just wanting to jump right in. We played year one. A uh, little type of a city village builder here, so make sure you go back and check it out if you do uh, want to figure out how we got here exactly. Um, but what it basically was is we had to get houses built uh, for everybody. And right out here, these folks here are working on a farm, which is going to be nice because we're hoping to get this farm built by springtime uh, so we can get some food next year. Food was okay. Uh, but right at the very end of the episode, spoilers, uh, for the next 30 seconds is, um, we didn't get nine houses built. And when the family moved out, uh, the game crashed. Uh, what I had done, uh, was I reloaded and, um, things are now working fine. And, uh, what I did was I built the ninth house closer into this little core, which is, uh, you know, I did plan on building a house over here anyway. So uh, it built faster and it was still like down to the wire. It was just at the end of November. And if you just skipped because the spoilers, no more spoilers, um, everything is running fine. Nothing bad happened last episode, I promise. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there um, we got nine houses built. So all the families are here this time and uh, things are pretty nice. Uh, so what we have working on now, let's really talk about things a little bit deeper. Um, th one of the comments, which was a great one and uh, very helpful and true, is if you are looking for efficiency, make sure you're optimizing where things are. Because if you notice, like my carts, the carts are here. So, you know, they got to come get the carts and then they got to go get some clay and then they got to go like way over here. So you do want the carts kind of close to these items. Um, the thatchery does, of course, have to be down. Uh, actually, you know what? It probably doesn't have to be down by the water. It's just they're going to have to work because they're going to have to walk to the water and bring back the reeds. Uh, the clay pit, uh, they can go anywhere in the game right now. So that's why I was kind of playing it more role playing where I'm like, well, maybe you can only get the clay from like this area down here for now, instead of just plopping a clay pit right next to this. Plus aesthetics later, you can't destroy the clay pit. So, uh, not that I know of, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, we're moving right along. I'm going to hit the two button to move things forward. So I built a secondary well here. That's swell. And uh, we're going to be building a warehouse here just to move things a little bit closer. So I do plan to make the town more efficient as we go. Uh, but that is what caused the struggles. Uh, one thing I did put was a cart parking. Oh, that's why. Because I took the cart and I moved one down here. Oh, money, I tricked myself. I wanted one cart a little bit more uh, appropriately placed. So also something of why I'm building a warehouse. We can talk about that. Oh man, there's more to talk about than I thought. Our thatch limit here, right, is 20. So right now we only have eight thatch, that's cool. But if we get 20 thatch here uh, and we still have a worker, that worker is really just getting paid to do nothing. And uh, we don't like that. So by building the warehouse, uh, what's gonna be happening is we can actually assign products to it. Uh, which is quite nice to be able to assign what goes to what warehouse. <clears throat> Maybe not what goes where, but what goes in it, at least. Um, so we're going to be able to add, say, the uh, limit, not production limit, but the actual storage limit of uh, of thatch. Say we could do that. Um, that way we could stockpile and then close the thatchery down for a while. I mean, the thatchery man doesn't like that very much, but it is what it is. So something else I'm hoping to do towards the end of year two, as we speed up to three to get the winter moving right along, it is already January, is the boatyard, which we're going to have to get built first if we want to be working on the fishing dock, because uh, we're going to have to build a few little fishing boats to uh, work that. Um, so that's like later on. Oh, no, 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 no. I pushed actually the warehouse and the town hall afterwards, but 
The warehouse seems to be pretty easy to make. Wooden nails. So uh, while they're waiting on other items for other buildings, they're just going to go ahead and work on that. The farm, though, pretty excited how that's going. Uh, what I want to do is actually, how's my thatch? Oh, only at 10 still. Even though we don't even have anyone here. That's what's going to be hurting too. Is we're going to want to build a lot more houses because we're going to need more workers. Especially once we get the uh, fishing going. Fishing will only work in, of course, the uh, spring, summer, and fall because the river's frozen over. That's no good. No good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to let this run. Have a little drink of coffee. You can have a drink with me. Ah, cheers. And, uh, yeah, things are, things are working good. They're, hopefully, they're, uh, they're creating little snow ditches here. Getting back and forth reminds me a little bit of, a frost punk, even though these guys were creating ditches before that, so. Um, pretty cool. I do love the, uh, organic pathing, though I think that's pretty cool. Even though it'll, it'd be nice to build some actual, uh, street paths and such down the line. We shall see decorations, though. Winter time, we'll put in some seedlings. This is not the time to be planting your trees, but I'm crazy. I'm the crazy arborist. So, yeah, so there's that. Put some ash trees down in here. Mix and match down the river line. The dry riverbed. You never know when it's going to fill. Oops. Too many exits. Oh my goodness. Watching this. Let's get in here. And I need to see if I can slow down those little uh, mouse movements. Uh, just to make, the, make it look a little bit more smooth. But look at those nice rolling valley with the snow. It looks beautiful. And as soon as March hits, I'm pretty sure it's March, we're going to start seeing that snow melt. A true big full snow melt for the first time. Looks looks fantastic. But we're moving right along. So we got to get the farm going because we want to grow, I'm thinking, potatoes. And uh, thanks for the discussion in the comments, which is helping making me remember that uh, we need to activate the fields. Worst thing after you build a farm and place a bunch of fields down and boom... Uh, you forget to activate your fields, so this is nice. It's February, and you can place six fields. This is a whole cool new system, and I'm learning it, so if you guys got tips for me, please let me know. What I like to try to do is not that. You can place fields kind of anywhere, which is cool. Um, and then it shows a max output, which is probably the amount of people, you know, who you'd need to cover it. I'm not going to go crazy with these first fields. And maybe this is a mistake, but what I want to do is, uh, see, I'm even thinking max output of 15 is too big. I kind of want to do little uh, tensy fields, fields of max outputs of 10. And um, what you can do is add another field and you can clip these on. I've found, which works pretty cool. I'm going to clip it this way and go like that. Max output 10. So that works nice. And uh, we're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to change what, what is growing on these after the fact, but I just want to get them all built. Max output nine. So I need to go a little bit further down, but a boom. Let's see, get that there. Never done a little square field. This one might not. Might not be so happy. Let's see if we can. It's the angle there. Oh, there we go. Max output 10. Pulled it off. Four. Let's get two more. Where do we want to put them? Happy fields. Happy fields. Maybe we can do a larger. Uh... Yeah. Too close. A larger one here. We'll do a 15. Oh, 
I'm going to slow it down. You see that? You see it? The snow melt is starting to happen. Looking fantastic. So as I place down the final field here. Hmm. Maybe something totally interesting. Maybe. Oh. Too long. Don't hear that very often. All right. Um, oh, look at that snow melt. Too small. There you go. There, uh, max output 10. Cool. So what we're going to do is nutrients are full, 100% on everything. We're going to go potatoes. Potatoes. Activate. Activate. Almost didn't do it. Potato. Activate. We're going to grow, should we grow some hemp? No, potato, food first, food first. Uh, activate. See then, as long as these up are up here, we can't plow, which is cool. It just, uh, that would help with the nutrients. So as long as we do some crop rotations, which is a thing, um, and then you can like fallow out the field, which will bring back the nutrients. There's, there's way, um, activate activate and you can activate them from <clears throat> excuse me from here you can just hit the little check box so this is our farm uh look at all the laborers heading already on out to work the farm which is fantastic um the uh the women of the town and uh are pretty happy to finally have some more jobs that are going to pay well and uh, help support the families so that's pretty cool so exciting, exciting. Farms are working. Um, so as you can see, let's click on a, on one of these again. If you look at the other, can't change crop during a season. Okay, never mind. Can't look at them now. But you could see what types of nutrients each things use. So potatoes are going to be strong on killing our first or whatever, red and green. But then it leaves the blue. The nice thing about hemp is it only uses the blue. So then you can rotate compared to following out if you have the amount of fields, which is one reason why I think I'm going to get two farms going. Um, but luckily, and we'll see it grow out nicely here. Oh man, that's a little sensitive on those mouse controls. Um, anyway, that's that's uh, farms online. I like it. I like it. Uh, the warehouse is online, which will hire somebody, which is a thing. So we're going to say add resources. I want to put some wood over here. And I'm holding down shift to go by tens. And I'm going to go 100 wood. I'm going to go 40 thatch. Um, we can go iron, nails, uh, firewood. Let's get some firewood over here. 100 firewood and hire somebody we can actually do higher options and make sure that let's not hire any men at the warehouse let's discriminate here no men thank you very much and uh just for the point of there's a lot of jobs where uh, unfortunately only the men can work so let's try to keep them available boat yards on the way that's exciting oh stop can we... Oh, no, we can't rename yet. That'd be pretty cool to start renaming characters. Uh, I know it would keep it a little less uh, authentic to the, the regions, but, uh, you know, you know, I think a few of you wouldn't mind being... Cit well, I don't know. If you if you know what's good for you, you probably don't want to be a citizen in my little Ostrov town, but maybe, maybe. You could end up being the mayor. That pays pretty well. Let's do a little look-see on that, actually. Let's go around. We've got the forester and the market stall worker, and they have a daughter now who's seven years of age. Is this the daughter walking right here? No. Yes, it is. Uh, Katrina. Tesla. Luke. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, they've got a wealth of 35. My town wealth is 871, which is okay. 21, 39, 
17. These guys are hurting, but now that they're both laborers, they might do all right. Uh, 17, 15, 14, 20. But they're on the incline. Uh, 21, 23. We're probably getting paid pretty well over here, the smithy and the laborer. So, yeah, you got to keep people working or uh, they'll start losing out money. They won't be able to buy the food. Uh, that's why I want to get the town home, the town home, the town hall built. Uh, when the town hall is built, we're going to be able to control rent, uh, which is just an automatic setting right now, which I don't know. Can we see rent? We are charging rent. It's like 0.25 or something like that. We get the town hall. We'll see a lot more. We can control the salaries. We can control the produce rates, uh, percentage rate. So there's a lot of cool stuff. Let's get this boatyard going, though. Full steam ahead. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, go timbers. Oh, man, it's going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Carts are moving well. I'm not sure about, see, because I don't know if the AI knows, like, hey... If I have two carts here and one cart here and it needs a cart for wood, does it know to get a cart from there? Or does it just get the closest cart? Not sure. So here's the boatyard. Not going to hire anybody yet. Uh, because you don't build the boats. Well, that's a lie. You build the boats at the boatyard, but you don't order the boats at the boatyard. You're going to have to order the boats from the fishing dock. Just like you have to order the carts from the cart parking which does remind me, this will probably be a year three-ish thing, but I would like to see uh, a carpentry building built, which, why not? Let's build it next to the smithy. And uh, let's make sure it looks lined up properly. And that's where we're going to be building the carts and plows uh, and things of that nature. And hemp is going to go towards, because just you guys are probably going, hey, Monty's trying to grow hemp. What are we growing our hemp for? We're growing the hemp for the Weaver's Workshop. He's going to be making uh, textiles out of that hemp. And then we use those textiles to make clothes. Uh, I know you can sell clothes. I don't know if clothes actually benefit um, our folks at all. At least not that I know of as of yet. Uh, I could be totally wrong on that. And uh, we'll find out together or you guys will be sure to uh, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's check out the fields. The fields are... They've got bars. Bars are good. Bars mean things are happening. Things are growing. Uh, you can actually click on the field to get more details. We know it's completely sowed. And it is now in the growing phase. And it's early, early April. So we have... We have until November to get that all grown and harvested, and uh, it's going to be going to be good times. And we are just look at that, that look at that man. I mean, I know that, that that's already impressive being able to haul those things. He was he was hauling an entire like platform over his shoulders. Impressive, impressive. Oh yeah, we're starting to work on that town hall. It's going to be looking mighty fine. See, it's coming together. It's coming together. We'll plant some trees here. Maybe tree this out a little bit. Maybe some more trees down here. Takes about, I don't know, three, four years to get these guys growing? We'll find out. Some low liars. That'll be cool. Uh, we could also set up some benches just to like have people chilling, having a, having a good view. Where would be a good view? Let's see. Where do we want to have a bench? Maybe, maybe a bench and a bench and a, what do we want? Oh, oh no. There we go. Bench and a pine tree. Cause that's about all we can do. Bench and a pine tree. Let's turn this around. Because if you've watched any of my train fever, you know, I always like to place a bench out in the middle of nowhere. Usually we'd like to put a bench out there. Because there's always that hermit, man. He likes to just go out, 
could even be a winter hermit, you might say. But uh, yeah, gotta gotta put a bench out there for for the winter hermit. <laughs> all right, boatyard, come on now. What do we got going? Oh, look at all those little, a lot of little working spots there. That that must have been all the. Uh, why is that? Whatever the little docks are called. It was just the word was escaping me. All right. I'm moving around a lot. Let's just chill. Let's watch it go. Am I going full speed? We are going full speed. It is now May. It is now May of 1722. Oh, yeah. Moving right along. But what are some things? Let's change the topic of the game a little bit. What are some things you would like to see in the game that you haven't seen so far? Um, maybe if they're not even in the game. I'm just curious if, if you've played it. What do you think... Uh, what do you think we could have that it doesn't have already? I think it's taken, personally me, my opinion, uh, which I didn't think about it. I should have thought about that before asking the question. Um, I think it's already going kind of a little bit to the next level, uh, especially it's amazing for um, like the single developer kind of deal, um, which of course is going to make it take its takes its time, but it's understandable, and it's great to see that the progress is still on its way. Um, things I'm curious to see about is how is it going to work when there's a lot of a, you know, a much larger population when we can kind of fill in the map a lot more. Um, hopefully we'll get to that point. We'll see how far we can go. If the years do us well, um, but boy, you can spiral out and things can be uh, a little harsh. Hey, look, they like it. What is that? Look, he's wearing a little, little hat there. I can't get in any more than that. It's as far zoomed in as I can go. And, uh, yeah, don't worry, man. It's a cool hat. I'm just saying. You got a hat, and I didn't notice you had one before. He's heading on. Probably picking up a cart. Show path. Oh, look at that. How pretty. I like how that looks. So it can show that he's going to go to the thatchery. And probably go dump off some uh, resources at the warehouse. So we can see that's working out. We've already got 10 thatch, 6, or sorry, 10 wood, 6 thatch, and 9 firewood. Pretty cool things. Ah, here we go. Let's order three boats, and we're going to hire someone, two people, at the boat yard. Uh, the boats take just some wood and probably a few nails. Dried fish. I haven't figured this out yet. I don't think it's, um, I think it's in development. Even if I put the production limit up, they never dry the fish. So, uh, we're just going to be working on actual fish. Uh, I, can they fish without a boat? I don't think so. I don't think they'll like come out here and, uh, throw a pole over. But I'll hire someone just to prove that point. Because I'm not 100% sure. But I want to now get the granary in order. Which I don't want very far from the farm. So we're going to turn him here. Because um, the I'm, I am trying to think. No, let's go here. Ooh, I don't like the angle of that warehouse. Because this is close enough to the farm, but then it's also pretty close to the fishing. Because they're going to have to be bringing the fish up here as well, is what I'm going to want. Those will be my demands. Alright, they're building the boat. Getting wood. So that's pretty cool. And we are just trucking right along here. But just to be safe, because... It's always safe on these early access games. Hold on, I'm going to throw down a save. And we're back. I actually have totally lost track of whatever we were talking about. Because when I saved, it uh, it, it crashed. Uh, <laughs> so I, I had to fix, make sure the video was all good and do all that and then come back. So uh, there was time in between. But anyway, we're back. And look at this. You can see that the fields are growing. Oh my goodness. That... That's happiness right there. That is that is fields of happiness. And, uh, well, I guess if maybe next season when it's all hemp. No, it's, uh, potatoes are cool. Potatoes are cool. But check this out. I uh, We're going so full speed. Oh, my goodness. Man, that movements. Those movements. 
They're working on the second boat, but they did finish a boat. Um, hopefully we'll catch the next guy. Look at how beautiful the water reflections are with the lily pads. When they finish the boat, you'll actually see them cruise it on over to the fishing dock. Um, and luckily, since I accidentally left this guy or hired this guy as a test, he was already here. So the fisherman already took this job. So did he actually go get fish uh, without a boat? Uh, I think the answer is no, uh, but I, I didn't catch it. So anyway, this is going well. Let's see, 15 wood. How much wood does it take to make a boat? He's got 20 wood. We're going full speed now. I think I'm going to go ahead and fire a dude. No, 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 uh, that's not a good start to June, but uh, we don't need two people working on these boats. My money was dwindling too fast. But it's that in-between, you know? It could have just ruined his family. He just got a new new kid. Now he's unemployed. Boatyard. These mothers are... A lot of unemployed mothers. I could go ahead and force... Job a few folks on here. <clears throat> so you guys are probably wondering, why did I not hire workers and managers? Uh, I can go ahead and click on the question mark here. And read all about the farms... Uh, if you put a manager, I know it'll auto-rotate, uh, leaving a field fallow. Uh, the pasture restores fertility. We knew that. Uh, so we, we went over a lot of this. The soil contains three nutrients. You can hire workers for plowing and taking care of draft animals. But laborers will do all the sowing and harvesting. So since we don't have any animals and since we don't have a plow, uh, which we could order a plow, uh, we just don't have the materials for it, um, there's no point to hire any workers or managers because uh, I got this. <laughs> so anyway, that's been the, the saying of the episode. I've heard, I've heard it in my own voice. I go, so anyway. And anyway, <laughs> June 1722. Boats are made. We've got another. We got to hire another person here. See, that's the problem. This is hiring, but we didn't have people. You can actually go into the hiring options and pay people a little bit better. So, like, we could maybe pay the uh, fishermen a little bit more to kind of sway people to work here. Maybe that's how that'll work. But we shall see. It looks like the town hall's on the way. Coming in second is the granary. And we didn't catch how much... Uh, wood that took 20 wood did he have to go get more how much did it take to make the boat mm, he's taking a rest he's going to work he's coming to work and he's building the boat so 20 wood look at this hammer 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 he's a hammering man YK Hammer. All right. See, then he's going to get in the boat. He's going to go deliver the boat. And then, unfortunately, he's going to get fired. However, we've got a brand new position for Yehor Cabinets. Yehor Cabinets. He should open a furniture store. At the fishing dock. So, no complaints, buddy. Grab your fish and go home. Or, you know, you can. He, he's now got a fishing job, so... Had to go grab his toolbox. He he stole it, I think. He actually had no reason to go back to that boathouse. I don't I don't trust him. Uh, but how are things doing over here? Too much. We need to chill our roll. I forgot to uh, get rid of these guys. They've been sitting over here with uh, full production limits here. So sorry, guys, but yo fired. Uh, we could actually hire someone here. Help move more wood and firewood. That'll be good. Uh, ooh. We're going to go ahead and drop him from the smithy because we almost have our production limit on nails. Also, what's going to be nice is the camp center is going to go away when the town hall's built. The camp storage will go away when we give a place for the iron, which I don't want to do. 
because I want to build another warehouse here. Boom. And this warehouse is going to be for the iron. And maybe a little stash of... No, I don't think I need to put... There's no need to put wood and firewood there. It's, wood and firewood's right here. Come on now. All right, this is what I'm talking about. It's July, and we have fish on the way. So what we need to do now is go to our market stall and add fish. So right now we've got wood. We've got no potatoes because these are still growing, but the ripeness is, it's getting there. It is July. <clears throat> it is July. Oh my goodness. What you going to get? Mm-hmm. Fish with the cart. Liking it. She's bringing them right back to the stall. And now you can see we've got a big box of fish up there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Fish and firewood for sale today. Which is good because we're starting to lose some cash. Losing that cash. What are we... What's what's happening here? Nails. All right. Get to it, buddy. That is the longest haul possible. Trying to bring nails from the smithy who's a mile away. I remember when I had to go uphill both ways to work. That's what he's going to be complaining to his grandchildren about. In the year of 1722. The winters were harsh, but the town hall was built. That's our hope anyway. August is moving right along. August of 1720. Okay, we got to stop that because I see the farms are being worked. The farms are being worked. Look at that. So they're going by, picking them up, dropping them in barrels. All precise like very cool and then after after not until all the fields are harvested not then I'm gonna prioritize gathering not until all these fields are harvested are they gonna go and start picking up these barrels of potato oh, I making me a liar there they go they're grabbing the potatoes and they're taking them to the farm that's all pretty cool. Wood nails, and we're going to need... That's it. No more clay, nothing. Working it to the end. The granary is trying to come in a nice... Close second. I can... I'm... This is interesting to me. I did not notice that before, that they take care of one field at a time. I don't feel like that's what was happening, but I know there hasn't been a new patch. We're still playing Alpha 1 Patch 8. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Good to know. Uh, some things we could do here. We could say, like, they should lose their jobs. Maybe that'll force them to go work at the farm. Um, we'll call it a transfer. They didn't lose their jobs. Uh, what else? What else? Thatchery. No one's working here, are they? Oh, yes, they are. Buddy. No, you can keep on thatching it up. Why not? I'm happy we got our three fishermen. I want to see this finish, though. So, sorry. Transfer, go go work on a granary or something. Our town hall camp is gone. It's dwindling over here. No doubt about that. I'm going to move another cart over here. And I'm going to order two more carts. I'm thinking about putting a cart parking right here. Right in front of the stall. Yeah, that's going to relocate. That's going to be good. Nice. All right. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So now here you go. Look at this population. Oh my goodness. Graphs. I love it. Uh, economy. Nope. That's population again. Economy. My finger slipped. Here's what I was talking about. Basic wages, monthly wages. We can, uh, we could mess with this. Uh, so sorry guys, but how about 220? Uh, rent 0.30, you know, that's a thing. So what I could do is say, how about you guys get paid less, but I'm going to charge you a little less in rent. How about that? Market products price, products price. Um, we're just going to keep that at 100, but it is what it is. I like it. We can see everything stored. We're starting to store potatoes. Potato harvest. That's nice. It shows what's waiting in harvest. So it shows we know. I guess this is potato harvest. This guy. And then potatoes. Potatoes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Carpentry is getting built up too. So this is the view. This is the view. I like it. Oh, and what I usually do, which is different, when I had played before, is I, before, that's not a word, when we, uh, we got to get a trading post going. So those are going to be things I'm going to try to focus on next time. I mean, what, where should I put the trading post? That's what we'll leave. Where, where, where should we put, let's count this view right here, like north, south, east, west. Uh, wait, no. Let's just do it right. Yeah, actually, wait, that's... Oh, look at that, because it's pointing that way. Yeah, so I think that's going to be right. North, south, east, west. I might have said east and west wrong before. Uh, where, where should we... Where should we put this bad boy? Down here? Maybe on the edge? We could put it maybe up here by the farm. We could uh, put it up here, hiding behind the uh, these two guys. The smithy. So where, where, where should we put the trading post? That's going to be the question of the video for you guys to answer. And uh, on that note, it's September. We're still going to keep burning through here. The granary is now open. we got to hire here. And as you can see, for some reason, they don't want to accept wheat or sunflower. And you can also say take from other granaries, which is pretty, pretty cutthroat. But, you know. What's her name? Paraska Cabinets of the Cabinet family. They uh, they don't play around. So this is good, though. Because now what you're going to see is all the potatoes and all the fish are going to start being transferred. One thing I'm noticing is they are not... Okay, they could use a cart. See, I could force it to where they have to use a cart and not work by hands. All kinds of cool options, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. I am enjoying it, and I'm really liking that we're getting... I feel like now we're playing. Last episode was like, oh, can we build houses? So, yay. This one was like fishing and farming and we're real. We got a town hall, real storage. Speaking of that, we got our, wow, it's going so fast. We've got this warehouse, which I'm going to add iron and a worker. And what we have is our carpentry center. So I'm going to hire somebody because I'm going to go to this little camp cart parking, which I think I'm just going to keep because why not? Let's order another one. Uh, I can go here and I can order a cart or two. I'm just going to order one for now. And right here, um... Really, did I order that many carts? I don't want to order that one. So three there, two there, one here. Nope. Oh, is that one being worked on? Yeah. Move that one there. There we go. Okay. Two, two, two. Liking it. So balanced. Much wow. All right. We're going to get... These fields knocked out. I'm happy with how it's going. I think we're definitely going to be getting this done by the end of November. Which means... Look at all them potatoes. We're going to be, we're going to be doing all right. If people can buy them potatoes. 56. Boy, you people are eating up all my money, aren't you? 34, 31. Wow. 
Wow, pawow. They're fine. They're fine. So now I, we got to keep an eye on our our balance here. Uh, I don't mind letting these people's wealth move up a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to build more houses. We're going to have to expand our neighborhood. Uh, so I'd like to see some suggestions on that as well. Uh, the nice thing about winter time is we get to close down all the fishing and farming and all that. So we're going to be able to build more during that time of year. But what I'm noticing is we are... I'm going to go ahead and place another house. We're really... We have nothing to do, so people don't have jobs right now. Should we build a house here? I don't know. Yeah, it'll be like the mayor's house. So what's interesting is folks will just, as soon as the house is done, folks will move in right away. Uh, and then they have a wealth of, I believe, 10. And they do come with some potatoes and some water and flour and all that stuff. So they always get a little bit of goods to start with, which is kind of nice. If you're talking to me. So that is good, folks. Look at that. The farms are done. We have carts being made. We have, um, let's order a plow. Need two adult oxen and a carpenter building. So we would need, we would need to get oxen. I knew there was a reason why I wasn't going to build a plow. So we're going to have to figure out all that. Um, that's going to be probably more through trading. So again, we'll f figure out where are we going to put the trading thing? Where are we going to put some more houses? And uh, where are we going to go from there? But I'm going to actually leave you guys on the cliffhanger now because we've gone a little bit over time. But year two, I'm calling it November. November is here. The snows are going to fall again. So I will bring you guys back uh, probably during January or February. So we'll see the, uh, the snow melt of... 1722 to 1723 and hopefully the winter treats us well but you guys have a wonderful wonderful weekend uh, i'm going to be not having as many videos out i'm going to be out in uh, canada going to the metcon 2018 i'm so excited i was able to actually record this video right before i head out uh, and uh, on that note you guys take care i'll catch you when i return peace